Well, I'd like to talk a little bit about planting trees and how to do that, and also to talk about the value of riparian areas. Riparian areas are right behind us. There's a small creek, and, uh, and a riparian area is that line between terrestrial and aquatic uh, environments. And they serve a, a number of uh, uh, purposes that uh, not only to protect the water quality, but also to, uh, uh, as a wildlife habitat, uh, and is to uh, eliminate uh, and trap uh, pollutants before they move into the stream. Uh, it's, but it's uh, important for us to, uh, as we start thinking about expanding these riparian areas of what trees to select and how to go about planting them. So there are a number of trees that uh, you can select from. We're going to be planting uh, some bur oak uh, this morning. And bur oak is uh, one of the best uh, riparian uh, trees because it has a large solid ball of roots and it actually armors then the stream bank. But you can plant uh, black walnut, hickory, uh, chest, uh, swamp chestnut, uh, uh, red bud trees, uh, there's a whole host and each of these trees have different uh, functions that they serve and not only to expand the riparian area but also as a source for uh, wildlife, uh, as a food source for wildlife. One way of uh, getting trees uh, is a bare root. You get these from the Division of Forestry. They're typically about $50 to $60 per 100 trees. Uh, this is what I plant uh, quite a bit uh, because of the low cost. And if you do have uh, mortality of the trees you plant, it's not a big loss compared to planting a bald tree, which you might pay hundreds of dollars for. And if you lose it, uh, you've lost all of that investment. There's two tools that I use uh, all the time. One is a, a simple uh, spade. It usually will have this uh, long, thin uh, bl uh, sh a blade for the, uh, on the shovel. Uh, but then for just uh, convenience and speed, uh, this is called a dibble. What you want to do is stick it in the ground and not hit a root. And what you want to do is just rock it back and forth and you're creating your hole for your plant this way. And what you want to do is get all the root system. And you can see here's the transition from the root to the stem. You want to put it into the ground so this is right at the surface. And then to close that hole, what you want to do is take your dibble and go down right next to it, push it over, and that's all it takes to uh, plant a bare root uh, tree. The benefits of bare root seedlings include being lower in cost, readily available, they acclimate easily to the planting area, and do not require much watering to become established. If you choose a containerized tree, Select the smallest container available. Smaller containers generally mean smaller trees with smaller root systems, which will acclimate more easily to the transplant area. Planting less expensive trees will also allow you to maximize the number of trees planted in your riparian area while staying within your project budget. To plant a containerized tree, dig a hole about two to three times wider than the width of the container and deep enough that the root flare sits slightly above ground level. Once the hole is ready, remove the tree from the container. Gently loosen the soil at the bottom of the tree roots. If the tree is root bound, carefully trim a few roots or straighten out the roots. Place the tree in the hole and backfill with the soil you removed from the hole. Break up large chunks of soil into smaller pieces. If the soil contains a lot of clay, Amend the soil with organic matter such as compost to provide adequate pore space for the roots to grow and access water. 
Settle the soil by adding water to the half full hole. Once the water has drained, fill the remainder of the planting hole with soil and water again. You may want to create a small rim or check dam around the outer edge of the hole to catch water. Do not step on the soil around the tree as this may cause compaction and prevent adequate root growth. When planting in areas with wildlife pressure, you may consider using tree tubes. Tree tubes protect tender seedlings from browsing by deer and small mammals and can enhance survival rates. Best time to plant uh, trees is in the fall. And the reason you do that is it, uh, it allows the root system to get settled in into the dirt and is ready then in the spring. Uh, it comes out of the dormant stage. These are all, all these trees are in a dormant stage right now. But as, uh, as it warms up in the spring, it will immediately uh, start growing for you. So that, the best time to plant is in the fall. You can uh, plant uh, one at a time. You can plant a hundred. Uh, I, I typically, every year, I plant over a hundred trees on my farm, and it usually just takes me a, a couple hours uh, to do that. It's not a, a difficult task. To learn more about managing riparian buffers to protect water quality, contact your local Cooperative Extension Service office.